Hello guys, Mars Framens here. We are back in the Wild West. I just wanted to apologize for the audio because my microphone is right now in a weird place so it doesn't interfere with the sensor. Today I want to make an update of my previous uh, Kinect motion tracking video. Today we're going to use the same setup for the real-time motion tracking. Everything you can see right now is happening in real time. I have my Xbox controller so I can move camera and yeah. So if you're going closer, we can see there is a bit like the body is doing weird things. As in the previous video, we we saw some glitches that now in the real time, it's even more exaggerated. Uh, I moved the smoothness to the maximum, but we can still see some jittering and some wobbling. But if we move a bit farther, it actually doesn't look so bad. We can raise the hands, we can raise the legs. <clears throat> There's a bit input lag as I'm recording the video right now, but if I'm not recording the video then actually there is almost no input lag at all. So we can walk, we can go sideways, as before, we can go forward, we can go back, we can make a jump, we can show stuff. Of course again if we move sideways there is again hand glitches, we can move a bit like, oh like leg also glitched doing something on its own so if you go back again if you want to fix fix tracking we're getting back in the T position and everything is great again uh, again we can move around we can try to go in a square see I can show like this we can put arms down Good thing is you can record in the software all the movements and fix them later in the process we did before so it's gonna get rid of the jittering a bit and let's jump into the tutorial. First thing we are doing we are going to IPA software website and we are downloading both softwares IPA recorder and IPA mockup studio and next thing is we're gonna download Unreal Engine plugin both links gonna be in description so we're going down and as I'm using Unreal Engine 4.26 I'm gonna download this once the plugin is downloaded we need to drop it in Unreal Engine folder so Find the installation folder, mine is C program files, Epic Games, Unreal Engine, Engine, Plugins, and we are just dropping this in. As I already have it, so it asks me to replace, but you would just drop it in. After both softwares are installed, we first gonna open IPI Recorder. If you have done everything right, then Kinect gonna appear here. Let's press record video. First thing we need to do is we need to capture the background. In this step it's important that the subject is out of the frame. Let's press evaluate the background. After that we can go to the record. And this time instead of pressing start record we are gonna press start broadcasting. Now we can minimize this window and open mockup studio. Continue using free trio. And now we are gonna press live button. Here is just it depends what kind of effect you want, I'm just gonna leave it as default and we're gonna press connect and okay now we're gonna go to the export in the target character we're just gonna choose Unreal Engine Mannequin before we are pressing start streaming we need to open Unreal Engine project so we are inside Unreal Engine next thing you need to do is you need to press edit plugins into the plugin window you need to write live link live link and make sure that IPA mockup live link and live link plugins are enabled so if you don't have it tick enable and restart your engine once you're back in the Unreal Engine let's press source IPA mockup live link make sure that your port is exactly like this uh, where you can get the port is you go back to the studio you press this and here you can see the port number so we're going back to the source and okay so next thing we're gonna do is we are going back to the studio and now we can press start streaming we can minimize this again 
and if everything's correct, your character animation, RPA mockup gonna this is gonna appear. So, how to synchronize the movements? You need to open your character animation blueprint, and into the blueprint, we need to add live link pose blueprint node. So we just get right in the search live link live link pose. I'm just gonna delete this one. So we just hook it here, and in the drop down we select character, compile and save, and your setup is done. Now we can just press play, and my character is currently staying in the T pose because. Uh, it's not tracking me, but if I can go in the front of the camera As you can see, it's again tracking my movements There's one more thing I want to show you If you go back to the mockup studio and press live You can see that you can also record your movements and just save it as animations It's really useful for polishing because as you say all in movements are in perfections uh, One more thing I wanted to show you is as we saw in the last video, retargeting animations works pretty well if you're retargeting to the metahuman, but for some reason the character, you, if I'm using the live movement capture, looks weird. Hands look weird, body looks weird, so you really can't use uh, live link out of the box. I haven't found a fix yet, hopefully soon I'm gonna find a fix. and. I can be able to use also the live movement tracking in uh, using MetaHuman. But for now, yeah, I can just record the animations using Mannequin and then just retarget them to the MetaHuman. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.